Hello, thank you for checking out my YouTube channel today. Um, today I want to talk about the add-on cards for my motherboard project here. So this is pretty much how I sell them these days. Um, this is the newest version, uh, the DMAs on the motherboard. Um, so you really just need your processor and memory cards here. Um, only thing I'm missing is the USB drive which uh, goes here. So when you get it, you need three things. You need a PS2 keyboard that plugs in there, a power supply, and a video card. That's all you need to get up and running once you get that. So let me set this aside. This here is the video card I use this is actually the video card I use to test all of my boards that I ship out. Um, I'm trying to say there's a part number. Um, if you just search OTVGA, Oak Tech uh, makes this processor on this, this uh, video processor here. Uh, as you can see, it's a 16-bit card. A lot of your 16-bit cards um, will work in 8-bit mode. So don't, don't worry about that too much. You can see there's a part numbers, uh, FCC ID across the top there. Now, I bought a second one. As you can see, this one still has a sticker on the ROM, OTVGA. I think I peeled the other one off looking for the um, chip number so I could make a copy of it. Um, you can see they're very identical, except for this one has raised um, crystals on it. So those two, they're pretty much the same card, work the same. Um, I don't even think there's like one jumper on the whole, on this board, a couple jumpers on that board, pretty much plug and go. I've had great luck with those. But the one that I actually recommend is a TVGA, so a Trident. You can see this one's a TVGA 9000A. I've had a lot of people email me that they're using the B, TVGA B, or even the TVGA 8900, 8900. So this one, the difference, I like this one because where Sometimes, like, if I've had a glitch in the system and these ones don't work or there's, like, static or something, plug this one in. It's been reliable every time. The reason why I use these ones for testing is this is the one I actually keep in my personal uh, version of the, the board that I build. So this is the one I use all the time in that. So, so that's the video cards I use. Um, I'm going to real quick show the rest of the cards I use. Um, and these are completely optional. So, use a multi-IO card. Um, you can see this one also a 16-bit. It's got my parallel game port. I actually bought a, a device to plug in the game port. It didn't work. I think the device was bad, more so than the card. The parallel port. It's got jumpers to set the uh, interrupts for the ports. And then it's got two... COM ports here, I'm plugged into COM1. And then I use this also for the floppy drives. I think this one's also a hard drive controller. So there's a multi IO. There's quite a few versions of these available. Not too hard to use, uh, but that's what I use for my COM and parallel ports. So really, as you can see on my board, I've got five open slots. Right there takes up two slots between the uh, video card and the multi-IO. And then, uh, done a little networking. Just actually recently made a video on this one made by uh, Sergey. Um, and he sells these, so they're, this is like new built. Um, and you can get these uh, to connect to the internet uh, with my project. Uh, there's not a web browser, of course. I made a whole video on it. So that's what I use for networking. But I've also bought, just kind of more of a safe at works, this one for networking. And I think I use the exact same setup as the other one. 
So this works too. So I usually keep this one in my regular PC and use this one for testing. And then that's pretty much it. I don't have a huge selection of cards. Um, I do have the one homemade card that I have, and I've made a video on this recently, uh, that I use for my USB, so that you have USB sticking out the back of the machine. So, really, you got five slots, you got your I.O., your networking, your video, still leaves you two slots available. You throw in the USB, you got one slot available, but being an 8088, that kind of tops off the whole uh, board as it is. There's not too much more you can do with it. So anyway, if you have any questions, shoot me an email or a message. Uh, thanks for checking out the video today.